Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick and easy tutorial on how to read a stock chart at a very basic level just in case you've never really looked at one before or you think they're confusing because they're really quite simple. Uh, for today's example we're going to be using TradingView which is a free platform for charting. It's probably one of the best out there. So you can go ahead and into the description and uh, check that out. I'll have a link to it there. But uh, we're going to start out looking at the S&P 500 ETF known as SPY, which is available on Robinhood and, and all brokers. It's very popular. Um, so what you're looking at here is a daily chart. And that means each one of these candles here, as they're called, these are called candlesticks. Um, and each one of these on this chart represents a day. And you can tell that because on the top left here, you can see one day. Um, that's what I have it on. There's all kinds of different uh, time frames. But yeah, it's on the daily, so that means each one of these is a day. Um, if you look on the right uh, axis, you will see the price. So this is just uh, the price of the stock. And then on the bottom, of course, is the date. Um, so this is currently going all the way from today in February back to November. Um, and you can click and drag and look back. You can also zoom out with your mouse wheel like this. Um, and then you can see it looks very crazy. It's kind of hard to see. So what you can do is take the price and uh, pull it down like this, and that will bring everything into view. Um, so yeah, you can kind of lengthen everything or shorten it depending on what time frame you're looking at. So now we're looking all the way from today all the way back to 2011, uh, even into 2010 a little bit, and you can keep going back. So you can see uh, the price movement um, on a macro level is just um, going up for a long time. Um, and then if you want to say you're trading on a uh, trading or buying stock on a daily or weekly basis and you want to, you know, cause the daily chart's great for a, a large overview, but say you want to go in closer as uh, these candles here don't move too much cause there's only one forming a day. Um, now if you go and change it to say the five minute time frame and then see it uh shrinks it all so you have to stretch it out for the shorter time frames so just keep it into view and pull this up instead of down and now you can see um this right here is the start of the day you can see it get the price closed yesterday at about 336 and opened today at 337 uh so we got a gap up is what you'd call that and it went up and it's been climbing and each of one of each one of these candles represents five minutes so uh, you can see you'll be able to see this one moving uh, as we've kind of hit the peak on the day it's the last 22 minutes of trading so stock is kind of coming down a little bit uh, don't worry about this line here this is uh, an indicator which i can get into more in another video but uh yeah just focus on these candles uh you can see just the movement of it in general but how to read one of these candles we'll go in here so so i can show you um, it's pretty simple. It's kind of like if you ever in math class in school used a box and whisker plot, um, kind of similar to that. Um, so for the green candles, those are known as bullish candles, meaning the price went up. Um, let's try to find a good example. All right, this one's pretty good. Uh, so the bottom of the solid part is where the price opened at. In this case, it's for this five minutes. So during this five minutes of the day, the price started right here um, and then went all the way as high as the top of the wick and this is called the candle wick uh, which is the thin line part so during that five minutes it went all the way up to this price which is 33872 um, also during that five minutes it went down as as low as 338.50 or so um, but the top of the green candle of the solid part is where it closed at so Meaning it's green because it opened here and it closed higher. Now, if we look at one of these red candles, say this one right here, uh, you can see this because it's red, it means it opened at the top of it during that five minutes and closed lower. And as you can see, it even went down as low as here, but it did come back up uh, and closed around here. So uh, that's the difference between the red and green candles. So to review, the green candles opened at the bottom and closed at the top of the solid, and the red ones opened at the top and closed at the bottom of the solid. 
Um, and then the wick, the wicks are just where the price was during this five minutes, but not where it opened or closed at. Those are the highs and lows of the price during that five minutes or that time frame, whatever one you're looking at. Because if we go back to the daily chart and look at the candles, um, as you can see on the day, it's been a very green day. We opened here uh, at some point during the day. We fell down, but we came back. Uh, we went very high up to 339 actually just over 339 uh but right now we're sitting at uh the top of this this candle uh at about 338.50 um and there is about 19 minutes left of trading so so yeah that's how to read um a stock chart very basically and you do have a lot of other time frames uh such as the hour um really good in different situations depending on what you're trying to look at if you're like long-term investing you're gonna to wanna to use like the daily or even the weekly chart so you can get a good overview of the direction of the stock you're buying. Uh, whereas if you're day trading or or scalping or something like that, uh, you might wanna come in here and get on the one minute so you can really see what's going on um, on a minute to minute basis. Um, also 15 minutes good, um, gives you a little better overview. It's not so uh, reactive because the one minute can you know, you can't go by the one minute because a lot happens in a minute uh, when you're watching that chart. Uh, basically, the more the more time you uh, go out, so, so all the way out of the day, you kind of get a more stable reading because throughout the day, as you can tell based on this candle, it can go extremely high and low and then, you know, close to more here. So if you're just looking at the minute chart, uh, it might throw you off. So, so uh, yeah, and then on trading view over here, you have uh, the price right here and this is how much it's went up in a day. Um, the dollar amount here and then the gain percentage right here on the day tells you that the market's open and then here you can see the day's range so this is basically the same thing as this candle here uh, as you can tell the solid green part is the same as the body on the candle and you got your high wick and then the low wick um, and that's for the day and then you got your 52 week range uh, pretty basic it just the uh, over total price over 52 weeks where it's been at you can tell it's at the uh, we're hitting all-time highs so it's at the very top of that 52 week range um, and then technical analysis uh, that's just some stuff trading view has but i wouldn't really go by it too much uh, but yeah that's the basics of reading the chart and you have all these tools over here to draw and everything but i can go more into depth on another video on that but uh oh yeah and another thing on the bottom here i believe this comes default with uh, trading view uh, these are volume bars so so you can tell it doesn't tell you the amount here but this is um basically just the volume so you, so you can tell the s p 500 on the daily chart has pretty steady volume a lot of volume um if you're to go on let's try the hour um you can see here whenever on february 3rd uh there was a little increase in volume this day uh higher than where it is now it's actually kind of low right now uh compared to the beginning of the month for whatever reason but yeah that's the volume down there um all those bars are volume as well as the line is the average of the volume uh so that's also really helpful and then of course this red line here um uh keeps you it shows you the current price it's at right now so you'll see it move up and down throughout the day as the price moves but uh yeah that's been a basic tutorial on uh trading view and how to read a stock chart again you've got um all your information here your ticker symbols and everything up here but i really wanted to show you guys how to read the chart because it's really not too hard and it's really helpful whenever you know and you understand how to read a candle because they're they, they have a lot of information in them um and then you've got your headlines down here on the right for whatever stock you're looking at if we're looking at ford you're going to get ford articles uh and so on but I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you have any questions or you would like me to teach you anything else about reading a chart or stocks or anything like that or any indicators, um, just comment below, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.